Okay, so let's talk about Caden Gooley. And this is a very interesting topic because it actually is only the second video we've made about the Montreal Canadiens' top prospect of the 2020 NHL Entry Draft's first round. It's kind of difficult because honestly, around this time last year, even a month after the draft last year, we made ourselves so much material on Cole Caulfield because there was just so much to talk about, but... I don't know if it's just you, but it's really difficult to kind of process what exactly went down at the 2020 draft, especially in the middle of the first round, and kind of establish, okay, Caden Gooley, that's a Habs guy. Yes, he's a Canadiens prospect. I just haven't made that association within my head already because it's been so weird with the pandemic and all that. But we're talking about Caden Gooley today because he has been quite the subject of controversy, I will say. And it's not really the controversy that I think a lot of Canadians fans are too aware of, but mostly it's just a lot of other people talking about him. And I wanted to make a video just going over these concerns, talking about my two cents, and just giving my overall perspective as a whole. So... Caden Gooley, to put him in this position, was a guy drafted by the Montreal Canadiens at the 2020 NHL Entry Draft, 16th overall. Yes, he's big, he's left-handed, he's a D-man. He was drafted 16th overall in a position where there were so many other talented small forwards available, but the Canadiens fan base mostly opened up to the pick because, hey, of course they did. The Canadiens aren't going to go thrashing their own draft pick so soon. That doesn't really happen often. But for Caden Gooley, he was a guy whom a lot of people thought, okay, maybe he could go somewhere in the top 15. Some NHL scouts, some NHL analysts predicted that he would have been a top 12 pick. This was actually highlighted in a fantasy draft, mock draft kind of article published a few months, actually, before the actual draft. But when it came to the overall projection amongst Twitter people, scouts, independent scouts who don't work with the NHL, a lot of people kind of had the same idea that yes, Caden Gooley probably could go somewhere in the top 15, but the question is, does he deserve to go there? What you get in Caden Gooley's game is a very nice shutdown defender. A guy who, coming back on defensive rushes, is very good at giving his opponents a tough time, forcing them off of the puck, making them make bad decisions. It's just everything else around that is a work in progress. He can skate the puck out, he's got some good tools, but this is a guy who exhibits so many turnovers when he does get the puck on his own end that it's kind of weird just seeing the cycle and how it continues. He's very good at breaking the puck up. Okay, he swats the puck away, gets it back, and then, oh no, he just iced it. Now it's back in his own zone and he has to repeat the process. But alas, his shutdown tools, his size, and his pretty good skating put him in a position where a lot of people were saying, okay, Caden Gooley's probably going to be an NHL defenseman. It's just what exactly is the caliber of a defenseman you're getting? For the Prince Albert Raiders, he had 40 points in 64 games, which is actually pretty good. But the thing is, you didn't really draft Caden Gooley because his offensive game is so strong. You got him because of the defensive qualities that he excels at very nicely. However, recently at the World Junior Scrimmages, these are the Team Canada things that are going on right now, we had ourselves the second game yesterday where Caden Gooley ended up getting an assist on the power play. He shot the puck, it eventually bounced around a little bit, and then a man in front was able to poke it in, which is nice. You love seeing your prospects doing their things, especially for Team Canada. It's just, this game is kind of where we saw a lot of other people chiming in on the Caden Gooley train, because there were a few highlights making their ways onto Twitter where Caden Gooley's in a position where he goes over and he absolutely bodies a guy on the defensive rush. Okay, that's cool. He ended up doing a big body check. But what exactly does that do to his positioning? There was a little bit of a play later where Caden Gooley was in his own zone. Stationary over on the side of his own goal, trying to block the centering pass from the opposing player who is behind his team's net. He fully commits to the outside lane, leaving that inner lane wide open, which led to a very great point-blank scoring chance for the other team. And a lot of these little nitpicky things were picked out and analyzed to the greatest extent on the Twitter, where people were talking about how Caden Gooley just hasn't been playing good defensive hockey. When you take a look at this guy, you drafted him for that defensive style, and the raw tools that he has will probably help him in becoming a top four defenseman in the NHL sooner rather than later. But when you're at a level where you're playing against some of the best U20 competition out there in your country, some of these moves are questionable to say the least. Now that's not 
not me saying that, that's me relaying what I've been seeing a lot of other people say, mostly Leafs fans, if I'm gonna be honest. But, there is indeed somewhat of a value to Caden Gooley, it's just everything else around the defensive shutdown style is what you need to work on. Scouching talked about this in his own Caden Gooley scouting report earlier before the draft even happened, but Caden Gooley's a guy who would very frequently just ice the puck, he would give it away in the weirdest ways possible, and his overall ability to just completely reverse all the good that he does by breaking up plays, it's there, which is why there's so much polarization when it comes to this guy. People were surprised that Caden Gooley went to the Montreal Canadiens, just considering the fact that the Canadiens don't really draft big, but this is indeed a very nice, diversified pick from the rest of the Canadiens draft class. The only question is, was this indeed the right move to make? Was sacrificing on a Hendricks Lapierre or a Dawson Mercer the right move at 16th overall? We had word earlier on in the season talking about how apparently some people thought Caden Gooley was top 10 caliber, how the Chicago Blackhawks wanted Caden Gooley, but how the Habs went out there and snatched him away instead before they could take the pick. And now Caden Gooley is showing himself off, doing some pretty nice things for the scrimmages, getting assists, making some breakout passes that actually connect. But there are indeed some other moments where you're like, okay, what was that? Why did you leave that guy open? Oh my gosh. So, work in progress. Absolutely, this is a huge work in progress for the Montreal Canadiens going into the long-term future. But, again, I do personally question the overall positional standpoint because he is a left-handed defenseman who plays on the left side. We kind of know that the Canadiens need left defense, but... That's not really going to be the case in, I don't know, three or four years around the time Caden Gooley cracks the NHL full time. Because you have Alexander Romanov, because you have a left-handed defenseman in Norlander, you have Jordan Harris, who is a left-handed guy, you have Jaden Struble, who's a left-handed guy, you have a lot of left-handed defensemen who are already in your system. Sure, not all of them have that same star power as a Caden Gooley does, but there are still indeed other guys. So, I mean, giving yourselves competition isn't a bad thing, I'm just pointing it out. And for the rest Record, I do want to say that I do believe Caden Gooley will be at the very least an NHL player, a top four guy who can actually do some really good things breaking up plays on the PK, etc. It's just where else do you go because the other parts of his game that need improvement are huge contradictions to the things that he does do well, which is why there were even people bringing it up on Twitter yesterday. Okay, what the heck was this play? Why did he do that? So, talk to me in the comments what you think about Caden Gooley as a prospect. I'm very, very intrigued in seeing the long-term development curve for this kind of player, especially since the Canadians used a first-round draft pick on him. There were a lot of people I saw making comparisons between him and Noah Juleson, for example, which is a very interesting one to make, but I do want to bring it up because I do think it is valuable to at least talk about. But we're kind of at the end of the gameplay here, so I guess I'll leave off with this. Caden Gooley is very good as a defensive shutdown, get the puck away from my opponent's kind of guy, but there are some moments where he ends up doing some things that reverse all the good that he does. Sure, he has some tools, sure he can get points, but the question is how much you value that in a package that is all combined with all those things, especially in a spot where you had the opportunity to draft some other guys who had a lot higher ceilings in my opinion, but you went with the D-man instead. So talk to me in the comments what you think about Caden Gooley, one of the more interesting prospects in the Habs organization for sure. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Trolls 9 and bye.